Since we're starting with the desk first, I want to take the time to thank the sponsor for this video and the team that sent me this beautiful product, FlexiSpot. If you want to build a legit work from home workstation to help you create an ergonomic and active working environment, the FlexiSpot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7 is the best choice you'll ever find in the market and let me tell you why. Setting up was such a breeze. When the desk first arrived, I was a little nervous about how long it would take to set up, but it was surprisingly super easy and all the materials provided were easy to understand. What I love about this desk is that it has a great height range. It was important for me to have a desk that was flexible because I share it with my husband who is much taller than me. The E7 is also really stable compared to other standing desks, which is a must when you have a lot of equipment that you need to successfully work from home. It moves smoothly and subtly so your monitors and other precious devices will stay safe and sound as the desk moves up and down. At its highest level, the desk is also wobble free, so whenever you're typing, it will allow you to concentrate on what really matters. This desk is also aesthetically pleasing because of its one piece design. The legs move smoothly and the quality is unmatched. Plus, its high temperature resistant and anti-wear coating give the desktop surface outstanding color consistency, making it a durable product to use in the long term. The E7's LCD keypad panel takes your experience to the next level. Apart from the programmable memory presets, there is a USB port on the side of the keypad to charge your devices conveniently. I am seriously obsessed with this desk. It has fully upgraded my desk game and I already feel like I'm much more productive than before. Plus it just looks so sleek. Check out my exclusive link in the description below and also check out their website on September 29th through 30th. They're doing a members day campaign where the first three people who complete the checkout get their order free. There's not anything super special about this chair. I honestly got it because I thought it looked a lot more aesthetic than the other chairs that I saw so it gets the job done. This is a brand new monitor and I am newly obsessed with ultra wide. I like having the extra screen space to put two windows next to one another and keep my laptop closed. The best part about this is that the arms also move around. I share this desk so I like how adjustable it is. The company I work for provides the laptop I use, so I am very lucky that I get to use the newest MacBook Pro. I've been using a Mac since I became a UX designer, so it's very familiar to me. I have been loving this dock since it's a lot more affordable than what I saw out there and it provides everything I need in a compact size. Ah yes, my very first mechanical keyboard, so it does take some getting used to, but it's so pretty, and this one is affordable and really beginner friendly too. I would do a typing test, but my loud AC is in the background, and so I'll just have to maybe do that on Instagram or TikTok for you. Oh, and I also have this really great wrist rest to go with it. I've never used anything else, never looked at anything else, and this is good enough for me, especially when I'm designing. I just bought these a couple days ago, and they're my first pair of noise-canceling headphones, and I'm loving them so far. They're lightweight, comfortable, and I wear them for Zoom meetings or when I get into deep design work. And if I'm not using my headphones, then I also have these compact speakers accessible. This is my first time using a webcam, and this one has an insane resolution. The image is so clear, plus it's tiny and cute. I love this mat because it creates a little border for my keyboard and mouse, but the best part is how it holds a lot of my design sketches, since I always have scratch paper laying around. This stand not only saves me space, but it also hides cords, and having an easy access drawer is really nice too. When I had a standing desk in an office, they provided us with these mats, and now I'm so used to them that I need that cushiony support. I'm really, really freaking short, so my feet don't touch the ground in most chairs. I know it's comical, so a footrest really helps with my posture and any discomfort. When it came to decor, I wanted to create a feminine yet chic space, so having a larger decor piece like this vase helps pull the desk together. It also matches the wooden theme going on, and it not only tells you the time, temperature, and the date, but it also charges your phone. These lights took me some time to set up, but it was so worth it. I can adjust the colors using a remote that it came with, or I can even use an app that I downloaded. Honestly, I think this is my favorite part of the desk, and they just look so good. Again, matching the wooden theme, this stand was a great way to gain more space while storing my laptop. This is a really great drawer for the price. It holds everything I need, and the service area is really large. In terms of what I have in the drawers, the top shelf has pens, pencils, um, some like beauty stuff, whiteboard material, I have mints and essential oils, I really love this Dior lip oil that I use quite frequently, 
and I also use things like an immunity throat spray just to help when my throat's kind of feeling sore or dry, talking all day or being in the office. And since I have a diffuser, I love using all of my essential oils. Again, nothing really special in this drawer, just a lot of notebooks. Being a UX designer, I'm constantly taking notes or scribbling on paper. I also have some CBD lotion. I bought that a while ago. I haven't used it in a bit. Again, not a big shocker, some more notebooks. I always have like a dead zone drawer where there's just some random crap in there, like the case for my headphones. I have ping pongs in there, I don't know why. Ping pong balls, um, cable ties for cable management. And my final drawer has some bigger items like the keyboard that I used to use before I got my royal clutch and then a bunch of UX design books. I have some really great YouTube videos on UX design books that I love and I will put them in my descriptions below. Next up, I got this cutie to help spice up the drawer area and it gives more light to the right side of my desk. This room doesn't get much airflow, so I like adding essential oils when I can and I also love the soothing lights. I got these coffee table books to act as a shelf. This first one is by Anna Leibovitz. She's a famous photographer known well for her celebrity portraits. I've always admired her work and like to keep this one next to me as inspiration. This next book is Warner's Nomenclature of Colors. It was published in 1814 and includes color swatches from nature. It's a really fun book to have and read all the descriptions of all the different colors that you see in nature. Thirdly, I have a photography book on Puglia. I went to Puglia this past year on my honeymoon and was obsessed, so I wanted to have this by my desk if I ever felt like escaping back there. To really tie the entire decor together, I actually added another light source, which was this sunset lamp. I hated this process so much. I never used to organize my cords, so these are all the things I needed to help keep my cables organized. I got scissors, heavy duty tape, cable raceways, cable velcro ties, and cable clips that taped onto the desk. I taped two outlets to the bottom of the desk so they would be tucked away and unseen, and I started sticking the cable raceways to the bottom of the desk and planned out where each cable would go before tucking the cords into the raceway. Some of the thicker cords took some serious muscle. As you can see, I'm getting so over it. You can tell how much I detest this process. And then I used that heavy duty tape to tape a few cords. One funny review for this tape said that you could stick a grown man on a wall. And yeah, I can probably attest to this. This stuff uh, does not budge. But overall, I'm pretty impressed at how well it looks given the patience that I don't have. And that is the end of this long anticipated desk tour. This whole makeover took me well over a month and I love it so much. I hope you all enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.